Hello and welcome to lesson 7 in our basic algorithm scripting section of Free Code Camp. This lesson is confirm the ending and it reads check the string first argument str ends with the given target string second argument called target. So this challenge can be solved with the dot ends with method which was introduced in ES 2015. But for the purpose of this challenge, we would like you to use one of the JavaScript substring methods instead. So I'm going to um, click this and read, read what it tells us real quick because I'm kind of new to the substring thing and I just want to make sure I understand it. So it does tell us the substring method returns the characters in a string beginning at the specified location through the specified number of characters. So that's the syntax, takes two parameters. Um, according to down here though, length is optional, which is the number of characters to extract. So start tells us location at which to begin extracting characters. If a negative number is given, it is treated as string length plus start, where string length is the length of the string. For example, if start is negative three, it is treated as string length minus three. So just reading that, I kind of have an idea already um, what we can do over here. And in the end, we just want to return a Boolean true or false. And to do that, I can actually erase this. We might be able to fit it all in one line. So we just want to return. What we want to return is that Boolean that checks. So first we do string dot sub string and in the end it's going to check whether it equals target since this should return a character that we specify now I could do because it says a, a negative value would pretty much uh, get the last start at the end and go backwards um, I could just do negative one, but I don't think that would work on anything that's like, like what if they passed in here an, it should still confirm as true, and I don't think that would pass. See, it gives false, but if I change it to n, it might actually, it returns true, but these are not passed because negative one, it's only going to, uh, this part of our of our check is going to be always negative one or I mean the last character um, the last character of the string parameter argument where we don't want it to always be negative one so we could just change this to negative target so this time, I still don't think that's going to be right because it's still false. So we have to probably check the length. So now this should work because technically, let's say it is a n. Now this target is going to be negative two because dot length of um, of target is two now. Negative two would check the last two of the passed in string, and it should actually work. So I think that's it for this lesson. And correct. So one more time, just explaining this negative target dot length right here it actually um, do negative two so negative two to string would start at the end of you know like bastion and it would return these two characters a and n and then it checks if it equals whatever the target is so now we could pass in you know something that's definitely, oh, well, BA is also in there. We could pass in something that's not, and it returns false, and it works. So that's it for this lesson. This was a pretty interesting one. Never seen um, 
the substring method. But now that we know how to use it, we could probably utilize it to do, you know, cool stuff. See you guys on the next one.